how to scale smart filters in Photoshop. Filters that have been applied to a smart object. So I've got this image and I can go to layer and smart objects and convert it into a smart object. So once I've done that, I can now apply filters. So go to filters and down here, and I'm gonna go with pixelate and color halftone. Now I can modify this at any point again. That's the whole thing about smart filters. So set it to 40, click OK. And you can see the result of that. I can now resize it. Show transform control so I can see that and I can get this message, but I'm just gonna resize it, make it very, very small and press return. And you can see there, you've got those dots, but they have not been scaled. So you haven't, you haven't made those smaller. So a workaround. So let's just undo. Now one workaround, simply go over here, and that's the great thing about smart filters, is you can double click on that, bring up that, and maybe enter 15, once you've resized it. So you can do all kinds, you can change it later. That's the thing about smart filters. Not ideal, unless you know the factor of the sizing to work out exactly the settings. There's no feature to do that in Photoshop though. There's no scale with smart filters. So a workaround, go over here and layer and smart objects and convert to smart object. So you're converting that all into a single smart object, smart filter and smart object. Now, if you resize it, Again, just resize it, and you can make it a lot smaller, and you can see the result of that, which is basically what I would expect it to reduce it down, and you can see all the dots have also reduced down as well. Not an ideal solution, because now, say you go and work with this, you decide, oh, I want to just go and turn that into a smart object again. Go to smart objects, convert to smart object. Converted smart objects, maybe apply some other filter effects, filter, distort, etc. But you then decide, oh no, let's resize it again. I can resize it and you can see what's happened. Back to what the previous size was. Now it's very blurry. It's really, doesn't look good. And that is one problem with using smart objects containing that smart object. So if you're going to do it, make certain you just get it to the size you want and then you don't resize it again back up because if you do that, you'll notice it just looks horrible. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know. And also, if you know of any solutions to work around this, how to scale smart filters in other ways, it will be great to know. But this is the only way that I know how to do it at the moment. Thank you much. Bye.